Okay, so, um, this video is to talk about what I did yesterday. Um, for the past year, I've been wanting to get another piercing, but I've been waiting. And finally, I ended up doing it yesterday. <laughs> and... I called up a friend of mine, and I told her that I wanted to get it done. So she came, picked me up, and we went to this person that she goes to for her stuff. And I was able to get it. Now, to explain how it felt, I did feel a little bit of pain, but only for a minute. And then after a minute, I didn't feel anything. So. Now, if you're wondering where the piercing is, it is on my nose. I finally got it done. I could feel it in my nose all day yesterday. Today, I actually woke up and forgot it was there. And I went like this. Just tried to scratch my nose, and that's how I remembered it was there. <laughs> because when I went like this, I felt it. And I'm like, oh, right. <laughs> so. It's a little bit weird having it on the inside of my nose. I don't know if you can see the bar, but it's in there. But They asked me what color I wanted, and I chose to go with like a diamond look. A little diamond stud and that's what they did so um, I took pictures of it yesterday and showed my sister and her response was dude with a busk of a bunch of exclamation points <laughs> I was happy about it. And then I showed my neighbor and neighbor through a text. And she goes, oh my, where did you go? And I told her where I went to go to get it done. It was not at all like I thought it was going to be. Um, honestly, I was under the impression that they were going to do the same thing as what, like, what Walmart does. And they use these little plastic gun things like they do for your ears. Except the place I went to was a tattoo place where they also do piercings. They didn't use some little gun thing. They used an actual needle. And I did not see the needle go in. I felt it. <laughs> and he uh, did the step-by-step -step process with me because it was my first time getting a nose piercing. And, and it was kind of funny because... When he first asked me which side I wanted it on, I pointed to it, and he looked at me and goes, Have you had a nose piercing before? And I said no. And he goes, Well, it, I asked because it looks like you already have something there. I said, Actually, that's a scar from when I was younger. I have a little scar in my nose from one of my, back, my bike accidents that I had. And, and then my friend made a comment. Well, I guess that scar is the marker for you. They already have a marker on your nose as to where you're going to put it. And that's where he put it is inside the little scar. And you can't even see the scar now because it's there instead. And I said, yeah. But no, I've never had it done now until now. So. <laughs> After the piercing and all that. A friend and I went to, uh, we got Subway to eat, then hung out at my house for a couple of hours, and then we all ended up going to Sam's Club and then Walmart, which was the other video you've already seen. So. Now, something I've discovered is, um, On Instagram, I've recently discovered how to do live videos on that. I'm still learning different things on how all of it works. 
and how to add people to it so they can see you too and you can have like a FaceTime kind of thing going on while the, the, the whole thing's being live so other followers can see it. But I've been doing that a couple of times and on my Instagram I will randomly do a live video for a couple of minutes just to see what happens. Sometimes my sister will get on and I'll talk to her or something, I don't know. But it's very interesting. I haven't learned how to do live videos on YouTube yet. I don't know if I will or not. I haven't figured that out yet, but on Instagram I learned how to do that. So people who've been following me on there, they get to see that. So that's pretty cool. As far as Facebook goes, I'm very picky as to who I let follow me and friend request me on there. But if you want to find me on Instagram, go ahead. Anyways, that's it for now.